This one is called VTuber Shondo. Maybe if I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. Banned for 30 days for mental health concern. And man, I saw the Twitter post this morning too. As I got out of bed, reminded that I too got indefinitely suspended for making an edgy joke on the day that shall not be mentioned, but got turned into a 14 day suspension due to my heartfelt appeal, which I think has a lot of credibility. But let's see what's going on with this girl. Twitch is like, we're concerned about your mental well-being and state of self and mind. So because of that, we are going to ban you for 30 days, effectively stopping your only source of income for 30 days. I think the TOS that they quote unquote breached is the self-harm, right? So in accordance with their community guidelines and to protect our community, I wonder who our really refers to here. We've removed this content. You got the self-harm behavior, seriously threatened to harm yourself. I'm not, I, I haven't seen the clip. I have no context of it, but it is kind of backwards how like, well, I think the concern is if people are streaming and it is actively like adding to their self-harm, Twitch banning their channel is probably a good thing. For example, if there is someone that is streaming just a, a ridiculous challenge to stay awake for the entire time, that will do irreversible damages to your brain. That is extremely dangerous. In those situations, Twitch taking their time to ban that channel out of their, um, like that streamer's uh, health, that, that is a good idea. But this, I don't think is the same thing. And hopefully this does help your mental health. Yeah, that this is real. Like, oh, yo, Chibi new setup? Yo, look at this. You got the Frida and Stark Fern. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but nice. This is this is 100% real. Like, I cannot believe that this this is an actual email. Yep. From Twitch. This is crazy. Like, I was in the process of making multiple videos today. I was like working on a One Piece video, going to discuss stuff oh, about shit. One Piece and what's going on with the manga and stuff. I was making a video on ReZero and the events of like the anime and also the web novel. Let's and then go. I was working on a video for the My Hero Academia episode that came out this morning. But then I saw this post grace my feet. Well, this post, this post, and this post. Yeah. And I was just like, this can't be real. And here's the thing, I have seen content creators and streamers, VTubers and stuff I actively follow and follow me, you know, try to, you know, they, they, they've had this happen. Like, they, they, this has happened to them as well. For instance, like, they just get randomly banned out of nowhere. One good example of that. Randomly banned. Now, I don't think my ban is a random ban. I, I, I completely accept my own L. I am owning up to my own, you know, L, and now we're streaming somewhere else right now, but this VTuber stuff, I heard that there has been very unjustifiable bans just randomly, seeming out of nowhere. This is Fifi, another VTuber that, you know, streams and stuff, and she's just okay. randomly banned all the time, like seven to eight times, for literally no reason. And I'll get more into this in a second, but the point of the matter is, is that, you know, Fallen Shadow is a VTuber that had a stream like late last night and they woke up this morning to finding out that they were banned from Twitch, not from an email from Twitch, but by a Twitch bot categorizing and saying whoever got banned that given day. That is unacceptable. Like how the hell is their automated system so bad that it wouldn't send an email, but this person has to find it through a bot. And then they were like, why did I get banned? They literally go on record to say, why was I banned this time? What's going on, etc." They assumed the reason why they were banned was because they had a stream the night before and they mm. were just, they drank three cream liquor. That, that's it. <laughs> They're just like three glasses. Right. And they were just talking to their chat about how they feel about life, you know, basically saying how chat has an effect on them and how they you know they 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 feel happy and all that with chat relaying yeah I, again we have no context on exactly what the stream was or what she said but based on just reading a couple replies and what she's saying it sounds like she was expressing gratitude after being a little bit inebriated and saying how thankful she is for her community and that how someone as depressed and lonely as her finally found some sort of light at the end of the tunnel through the streaming thing and she's grateful for that and I think that is the gist of what's going on and then Twitch then saw that as oh shit you're suicidal ban time to chat their personal feelings and pretty much just putting it all out in the open saying like you know the current mental state and all that and just you know appreciating chat for being there and so they go to sleep that night after having a you know 
opening up and stuff, and they wake up to their account being banned, finding out like this, and then hours later after this drops and people are like, what the hell, Twitch? Mm. Fallen Shadow gets this email by Twitch basically saying this. Let's just, let's read this. Hello, Fallen Shadow. We have reviewed your content, video, and we're concerned about you. Concerned. If you're currently struggling or feeling unsafe, yeah. please reach out for help. Talk to someone you trust. Contact your doctor or the hospital. In accordance with the community guidelines and to protect our community. Yeah, our community. Remember, when they say our community, they're talking about their brands, not their creators. We removed this content. And I can't say these words for obvious reasons because YouTube would instantly hammer down on this video. So apologies. You can just read this a little brief se uh, section for yourself here. But anyways, we are not allowed to show this on Twitch. Please read our community guidelines to learn more. We have a page dedicated to mental health support and resources that can help you navigate this difficult time. Here. You know what's going to make it even more difficult for her? To have her only source of income be gone for an entire month. Like... This is, again, just a stupid automated response that Twitch has in their backend for different categories of which TOS that you may have violated. And it's, I, I think that there is good intention in trying to send creators that are truly, you know, down like this and depressed. But, I, again, don't you think that this ban is going to make them even more depressed? Like, don't you think it's going to get more unstable? As the breach of our community guidelines, we've suspended your account temporarily, 30 days. Know that you're valued as part of our Twitch community. 30 days is crazy. Like, this should be like a week or two weeks maximum. Community, please take care. Note, due to your suspension of 30 days or longer, any subscriptions you may have will not renew. Yep. <laughs> my subs are all gone. I've lost all my followers, all my subs. But hey, that's an L that I took and I'll own up to it. But for her, like... What the hell, bro? Like, what? All that momentum just gone? To make changes to your subscriptions while suspended, please contact us. Crazy shit. I cannot believe this is a real email. It is. I, I cannot believe. Obviously, a real... Per I don't think a real person has written this email. No, no, no. This is an automated response after someone may have actually manually reviewed the contents. But it does seem extremely extremely out of touch and it's, it's like they're not even reading the room but to me it seems like gross negligence and basically too many appeals to cover therefore there's gonna be like a random person review the content probably saw something that may have aligned with breaching tos in a different interpreted way and sent this email like that without actually giving any thought this is so let's get to the elephant in the room Let's just hypothetically say, yeah, Fallen Shadow did break the community guidelines. Sure. Okay. Is Twitch in the right for enforcing community guidelines? Yes, they yeah. are. They, they definitely are. Twitch is 100% in the right for enforcing it. But? But. This is a big but. Here really we go. Big but. The reason why a lot of people have issues with this, because obviously Fallen Shadow didn't go to such an extreme, didn't. But let's just say she did, hypothetically. Let's just sure. go on the limb, that limb. I find it insane that Twitch would put and throw the book at Fallen Shadow, a VTuber that's obviously going through issues, but then turn around and have booby streamers, can girls, hot tub streams, all this type of stuff on their... Yeah, I get that argument. And the reason that kind of fan service content exists is because it plays within the TOS. There's actual categories of hot tubs, pools, and different you know, 18 plus content that I skirt on the lines. People do get banned while trying to push it too much, like Morkpie, Asian Bunny X, you know, people get banned all the time and come back. But this health farm thing, again, I, I totally understand, right? How does it make any sense that on this platform that you ban this girl for doing this shit while you have this other thing going on? Because at the end of the day, it has to do with these rules and how they're interpreted. And it's just a really shitty situation platform with people actively streaming basically full yep. blown almost nudity basically mm -hmm. on Twitch and they at the most will get banned for two to three days. Yeah. Come back and do it again. Yeah. And then eventually they'll get banned two to three days again. But they continue to push up against the community guidelines and break those community guidelines by having slips or whatever. Hell, 
about eight months to a year ago, you'd probably have heard about it, but you had even a streamer streaming their cheeks with a green screen on it <laughs> with actual gameplay footage. I think that was Morkpie. And it's just like, the fact that people can get away. Don't, don't forget about girls literally just getting back shots on stream. And Twitch doing nothing about it. Uh, uh, no, no, they did do something. It was the shortest ban ever. And they came back and it's just like, really? You can straight up just fuck on stream. And you can get away with that shit. And, and, and then the ban, I don't think it was even 30 days. Get away with that. And Twitch will just ban them for maybe at the most a week. But then you have someone potentially going through a mental health crisis and they're banned for 30 days? crazy Do you shit. really think that's gonna help somebody like who comes with these numbers that's the thing is it just like tos is so strict with the self-harm category and everyone that categorizes into this is just given automatic 30 I, that's the only answer i can come up with i, I don't think these are a trivial arbitrary numbers that they're just given out so they must it, it has to do with who set this rule do you, do you think like twitch i understand your company Fully understand that. But the people that had to find this content and mm. then ban her actually had to press the button and all that. Yeah. Do you not see like what you're doing? Like the just the the back and forth with like how you throw the book at some people but not others. It's like rules for thee but not for me or whatever. It's just like that's not Yeah, the rules for thee and not for me. I didn't make the example that other people, you know, are kind of playing within the TOS and get banned too. But if you look at the magnitude of the ban, like a month versus like seven days, couple days for the, you know, hot tub streamers. Like what, what is that all about? I think, again, it has to do with when this rule was set for self-harm category and specifically for the 30 days rule. Like, I, I don't know, maybe they can't do anything about it. It's just a number that's just there. And it's just like, I don't know, I can't do anything about it. I'm just fucking employee number 7,236. That's just, you know, enforcing the ban. Not a good thing. That it's legitimately just so ass backwards and it feels like they pick and choose and hammer down on who they want to put into mm. the dirt and that's why a lot of people have an issue with yeah there is a bit of a conspiracy and i don't know how true this is at all because i've been really paying attention to specifically vtubers getting banned but the rumor has it there's like a mod on the twitch staff that it just has it against vtubers and that's why vtubers get such seemingly more harsh treatment than other streamers i don't know how true this is but reading some of the posts and the replies i'm like huh this has just been an ongoing issue with twitch because it's not consistent they're not consistent with the rules if they were consistent with the rules people more or less would not be as bothered by this but even then i still think that there is a line here because this is not going to help someone that's having a mental health crisis it won't this will push them <laughs> it's gonna literally yeah push them beyond like what do you think is gonna happen when you have someone with a mental health crisis and you take away their only form of community, their only full like path of like fulfillment? You take away their livelihood. Every, they they literally exist for streaming, and then you take that shit away. Like the stream was, I'm so happy that finally I have some semblance of future. I've created a community. I am so happy to finally move forward, and I'm so grateful. And maybe they talked about some sort of mental health issues in the past and how they've been able to overcome that thanks to Twitch. And now they're like banned. Gee, wonder what's going to happen. Truly, nothing bad's going to happen. I'm closer to that edge. I mean, hell, if I was in this situation and my only source of income was through Twitch streams. Mm -hmm. You're done. I'd be scared. Like, yeah, 100%. Exactly. Like, my, my income stream is not only from Twitch. Twitch is probably one of the most the significant part of the income stream because thanks to YouTube and Patreon and, you know, other sponsors through TikTok, right? I've been able to diversify my content and have different streams of revenue. But even getting on Twitch, banned on Twitch, just like on, you know, the day that shall not be mentioned, felt bad. Felt really shitty. It's just like, damn, out of fucking nowhere. I'm just exited out of their gates and I'm just cast outside. But I get it. That's, you know, something that I fucked up and I have to take ownership of. But I can't imagine for her where it's only her source of income and it's for an entire month <sighs> time to go stream on youtube i said that would push me close like i have to pay bills i have to you know i have to actually buy food i have to buy pet food you know you you have to you have to buy all this stuff and yeah. if your only source of income is kapui it's gone that's it you're gonna be stressed out the wazoo that
And imagine if she has video editors, like she has employees. I don't know. I'm just assuming, right? You stop the production and suddenly you can't even fucking pay people to make the content anymore. You lose the employees. It's just not her, but the people that she can't provide livelihood for. That's, that's what's going to happen. So it's like Twitch 100% are not helping with this what well, i'm just gonna say if they're truly concerned about the individual they would have reached out banned her for like a day or two and then just talked with her they would have intervened g gave some form of counseling or something tried to do something yeah twitch is not gonna do that real right because like imagine the amount of resources that requires to kind of have that sort of infrastructure i definitely don't see twitch doing any of that shit they just probably don't give a fuck the end of the day right what why bother investing into these kind of infrastructure resources when they can just fucking min max similar to the crunch example of just hey let's just say fuck the comments let's why bother hiring more people for moderation and different tools for moderation when we can just ban hammer fuck it thing but they clearly didn't and i think that this is what makes this situation just so Wrong. Sinister. Especially when they actively allow people to continuously break their guidelines on their platform and even advertise people that continuously break the guidelines on their front page all the time for everybody to see. It is just extremely gross. And this is something that continuously happens with a lot of VTubers that's on Twitch. I have seen it. And this gets back into what I was talking about. When it there was another girl. I forget exactly which one it was. But... Her Twitch got banned, even though she hasn't streamed on there for months because she recently got like a hype train going while it was offline. And they flagged that as like fucking a scam. So they banned her channel. I'm like, what the hell? When it comes to Fifi, is that a lot of like Twitch streamers, they are just randomly banned and they don't really understand why. And it feels like there is someone in a part of the staff that mm. just... Now, this is the controversy. Sorry, this is the conspiracy. Is there someone that is actually anti VTuber on the Twitch moderation staff that's actively going out to do this shit? I don't know. Targets them. It's just straight up targeting them and not liking them. And it's like, you can't have people a part of your staff and your workforce that can pick and choose to ban people because they just don't like them. And this is the part that is the most frustrating and unfair. You as a VTuber have no choice in this. You're oppressed by if this moderator does exist. What the fuck can you do? Nothing. You can't do anything about it. It's this unfair system where they can just treat you with such bias and there will be no justice because it's a private company. They'll do whatever they fucking want. And it's just like, damn, man. What am I supposed to do now? Again, this is just a conspiracy. There's no confirmation of whether or not this is true. But based on the pattern of behavior that seems to only target VTubers, I'm like, is there something else going on here? That's not okay. That's not. It should be completely unbiased and just mutually. Also, completely off topic. <laughs> Season 2 debuted. 100 girlfriends scheduled. That's right, boys. In January 2025. We're almost there. 100 girlfriends coming back. Ban everybody that breaks the rules and don't ban people that don't break the rules. And just don't allow certain people to get away with stuff. It's just, it's crazy to me. Twitch would have just such a better image if they didn't do this type of stuff. But overall, I feel very bad for Fallen Shadow. Same. I'm going to be blunt with you. I don't watch their content and all that. But I saw this, and this really devastated me. As someone that has went through, like, mental health issues in the past... Like a year and a half ago, I made vlogs talking about it and stuff. This really concerns me, and it's just, it's so awful to see from Twitch and all that. And I hope my video sparks other people to make videos about this topic, because me. I hope that this Twitch ban is removed. This is not mm -hmm. okay. It's not. Especially if someone's opening up. Justice for Fallen Shadow! Up to their chat and all this type of stuff. I don't think this is okay. This is not the answer. Twitch, do better. Do better. I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much. Be and that's pretty much it. The summary is this girl got a little tipsy and had a stream where she was heartfelt with her chat, getting some vulnerable moments, talking about her past, mental health, and how happy she is of her supportive community and that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. But Twitch saw that and saw, hmm, <laughs> yep, 30 day ban. We care about you, and because we care about you and we're so worried about your mental health, we're going to remove your only source of livelihood for an entire month. I hope that you come back stronger than ever. Like, what the fuck?
<laughs> 30 days is too much. Listen, whether or not she actually broke the rules, like 30 days, especially for this kind of stuff, self-harm, that, that's fucking insane. Surely there will be justice given and she will not have to serve 30 days. Now me, my two, my two week ban, listen, we're on vacation on kick and we'll simply serve our time here. I take full accountability of my L. It sucks that I got banned, but this video isn't about me. It's about a similar situation happening to another girl, which seems way more unfair. And hopefully this shit gets lifted. But hey, please go give Chibi a like. Check out his channel if you haven't. Here is the link. And I will see you next time.